the whole Obsidian Flame set list got re revealed today, so I was looking through it, and there's a lot of pretty underwhelming cards in this set, but a few that really caught my eye were the new Solrock and Lunatone. In typical fashion, they're working together where the Lunatone has an ability where if you have a Solrock in play, prevent all effects of your opponent's stadium cards done to your Pokemon. And the Lunatone, or the, the Soul Rock doesn't really do too much, it does a call for family style attack for a colorless energy, so it's a nice consistency boost, and just doing 50 for two energies isn't anything super special. But the ability on the Lunatone isn't really anything like we've seen before. We've had Pokemon that have locked stadiums in play, we've never had Pokemon that have shut off the effects of stadium cards. So this is actually really cool because there are a lot of really annoying stadium cards in format like Path to the Peak, Temple of Sin, and the new Pokemon League HQ. So imagine if you're playing a deck like Gardevoir, where late in the game one of the few things that can um, cause you to stumble is if your opponent playing an Iono and combining it with Path to the Peak, and then you just can't find any of your stadium pumps too close at the game. If you have a Lunatone and a Soul Rock in play, then they, you're basically putting a down payment on that stadium card where they can drop that path to the peak, but you already have those Pokemon in play. So that stadium isn't going to do anything. So this is just a very unique effect. And I think it has a lot of potential. Like I, I, I first, when I first saw it, I was like, okay, this is pretty interesting for Mew, but then Mew can't uh, have a full bench of Fusion Strike Pokemon. So you're probably better off playing Heavy Loss Vacuum. If we had like Sky Field or something like that, that'd be a pretty cool combo, but we don't. Or even Lugia would be nice to shut off Temple of Sinnoh, but that's not too practical because you already have to commit two bench spaces to Archeops, then add that, uh, add the Lunatone Soul Rock on top of that. So it's not uh, the most practical in, in decks like that. What about a deck like Lost Zone Box, where the new League HQ could potentially throw a big wrench in your late game strategy? So you can have this uh, Soul Rock and Lunatone combo, and in the matchups where it's not useful, you can just Lost Zone them with the Chorus or a, a Comfy. But the deck I thought it would be most useful in would be Sablezard, where it's a, a deck where you have Radiant Charizard as your main attacker, but with all the decks running Lost City right now, it's pretty hard to have just one main big attacker. Like you have to have multiple things that can uh, that can have w one shot. Um, damage output attacks and the Sablezard deck really only has uh, Charizard so it, it really can't it can't be in any of those Arceus Lost City decks but if you put down a Solrock and a Lunatone then the Lost City effect would not work on your Radiant Charizard and you could have several Charizards in one game and honestly I thought Sablezard would be a pretty solid meta call in this current format and it's even what uh, Pedro Torres brought to NAIC but it, it, it pretty much just folds to those Arceus um, Lost City decks but because of this Solark and Luna Town, then that Lost City wouldn't work, and you can actually get three Charizard attacks off in one game to, to win. So this combo of cards really opens up a lot of cool strategies, and it'll keep getting cooler as we keep getting more stadiums that do annoying things. But um, overall, I was not super impressed with the uh, Obsidian Flames. Um, there will be a few cards there'll be videos on in the upcoming days, but... Uh, right now, I just think Lunatone and Soul Rock were both most unique cards from the new set, and uh, hope. I mean, after a after Paldea Evolve was a total banger, now this one is a, a bit of a letdown. But there are a few cards we'll explore in the coming days. So thank you guys for watching my little rant here about Soul Rock and Lunatone. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.